other part of the country, though KZN Education MEC Kwasi Mshengu will visit two schools in Pine Town this morning. Mshengu's visit is part of a drive to ensure that schools are adequately prepared for the year ahead. The MEC has promised that all 147 schools damaged by storms there will have temporary classrooms for the start to the new term. To find out more, let's cross now to ENCA's Mawanda Keswa, who is, uh, I believe, about to speak to the MEC to find out the very latest in uh, what's expected to be a very busy school year. Over to you, Mawanda. I won't waste any time. I'll just go to the MEC straight away. MEC, we were together the last time we spoke of those schools that were damaged by severe weather. 147 of them. You put your head on the block saying that they will be ready for the start of the school term, which is today. Can you give us an update on that? Well, uh, this morning I've been assured by all the district directors uh, that had their schools affected that uh, indeed uh, the deployment of mobile classrooms that we made uh, was delivered on time and uh, all those schools started uh, with their schooling today without any hassles. So we really kept to our promise as it were. Uh, in fact, in all the schools in Wasul Natal since this morning, we've only received one incident uh, around Mkungudovo district where there is a committee protest uh, now disturbing the, the learners going to school and we've deployed it, uh, an intervention team there to go and stabilize the situation. But as you can see, we've been joined by the Deputy Minister here at Haven Park. Uh, it's really all systems go. Uh, from here, I will be going to Umlazi uh, to also f uh, visit other schools. In fact, uh, the the whole uh, provincial executive of Kwasul Natal led by the premiers across the province as well as members of the legislature, all senior managers in the department as well as in district have been dispatched to various uh, districts and schools in Kwasul Natal to ensure that indeed today we start with uh, effective teaching as we had committed. Now as far as your plan for the whole year is concerned, what will it entail ensuring that these visits are not just for the beginning of the new school year only, but you continuously go through them just to ensure that any issues are flagged quite timelessly and you address them there and then? Well, uh, we have set up a team uh, that does monitoring consistently, uh, continuously in, 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 in the head office. and. Uh, I've also uh, decided that I will be visiting all districts regularly as an MEC and the HOT and all other senior managers. In fact, what we have done, we have encouraged that uh, all employees of the department must adopt the school, a school, uh, and uh, from director upwards, a minimum of five schools, to ensure that uh, we have our tentacles across the province so that we are able to intervene as and when the problems arise. So we're quite sure that uh, it's not only the end uh, that we're visiting, it's not, I mean, today is not only the end when we are visiting our schools, we'll be visiting them throughout the year, ensure that uh, there are, whenever there are, there are problems, we're able to intervene on time. But what is important is to ensure that there is a, a proper curriculum management management and deliver and that's where our focus is because results are as a uh, come after the, the proper management of curriculum as it were. The the increase that we have registered in Wazul Natal in so far as the metric results are concerned was as a result of our strict uh, curriculum management in twenty nineteen and we'll be building on that so that we ensure that um, we get uh, everything right right across the system. In closing, let me see what is the target that you've set for yourself as far as the class of 2020 is concerned? Well, uh, we have not set the target. Uh, next week, Monday, we are meeting to analyze uh, intensively the results uh, of 2019. But I can assure you that uh, our target, obviously, is not to go down. We are now on, a, on an increase, and uh, we don't anticipate that uh, we'll decrease uh, even in 2020. Thank you for your time there. Speaking to the KZN MEC for Education, Wazim Shingo who's visiting a number of schools, and uh, at this moment in time, we are in Haven Park in Phoenix. The KZN Provincial Executive Committee is visiting 60 schools across the province today.